a lot of the recalls and a lot of the emphasis on the FDA website in the past has been about animals shedding salmonella and exposing children and other family members to it. In the last couple of weeks, the FDA has created a tutorial for the public in safe pet food handling. We at FDA have responsibilities for making sure that pet food is safe and nutritious for your pet. We also offer advice for safe handling of pet food and treats in the home. One of the functions of the FDA is to monitor for animal and human health issues related to both foods and feeds. And if you look on their animal health side, you'll notice that there have been a number of recalls in recent years due to salmonella contamination of pet foods. On average, 60 pet food or treat products are recalled each year due to salmonella contamination. Now, where that's coming from, and one of the thoughts often has been that in feed grade ingredients, there may be bacteria, and these are bacteria that come from the GI tract. There are things like E. coli, salmonella, listeria, campylobacter. Those are all but normal bacterial contents that sometimes can impact edible meats, particularly on the feed side. Human illness can be caused by contact with contaminated pet food or treats. In one recent outbreak, more than 20 cases of human illness were linked to dog food made at one plant and contaminated with salmonella. It's been often thought that one of the sources for salmonella in particular, salmonella is a bacteria that's very hardy in the environment. So once it's shed either from the food source or from an animal source, it can live on a countertop. It can live in a stainless steel dog bowl for a long period of time. Wash your hands after handling pet food. Wash bowls and utensils used for pet food with soap and warm water to remove harmful bacteria that may be present. Using utensils strictly for pet food is an extra precaution against the possible transfer of bacteria from pet food to human food. The evidence is now showing that not only uh, is salmonella being shed from your animal a potential source of infection, but the pet food itself the initial symptoms of illness caused by salmonella, nausea, diarrhea, and vomiting, are the same as with other types of foodborne illness. For most adults, the problem is an unpleasant nuisance or a few days in bed. But for young children, older adults, or individuals with suppressed or compromised immune systems, the illness caused by these foodborne bacteria can be very serious or even deadly. It's really scary if the FDA is now saying, make sure you feed your animals outside, that you clean the dog bowls and don't bring them in the house and use separate, separate utensils, what's that? what that's saying to me as a veterinarian is that maybe these pet foods aren't as safe as we think they are. Maybe the bacterial content in commercially prepared foods that are um, cooked from feed grade ingredients have higher bacterial content. Bacterial contamination is one potential problem with pet food, but there are others, like contamination with chemicals or toxins, or including too much or too little of certain ingredients during manufacturing. While these contaminants might not harm humans, they can present a serious risk to your pet. It's not just a matter of the dog shedding it into the environment, we're actually bringing it into our homes with some of these commercially prepared dog foods.